What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. We're not working on a Super Duty, we're gonna be working on an F-150 trimmer. Yes, this one has an EcoBoost, and I like the orange. We're gonna be going through and installing this new SCT-X4 programmer that is going to kick this vehicle's performance up another notch. Follow along and find out how we're gonna do it. All right, guys, let's go. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back and checking us out one more time. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. We are here back at the shop checking out the SETX4. If you guys have been following the channel, you saw us do the one for the 67 where we had three tunes that allowed us to change the performance of the vehicle. We had stock, we had towing, sport, and track, I think. But this one for the F-150 Tremor, is coming equipped with one preloaded custom tune that is carb compliant. And I guess let's take this thing for a rip and see what we have performance wise or what it feels like uh, with 100, with 36,000 miles, almost 36,600. And then we're gonna go back inside, we're gonna program this and then take the truck for another ride and see can we notice a difference now i don't drive this truck every day my partner next to me this is his truck he is the daily driver so it's only suited for him to drive this vehicle and see if he is ultimately going to notice the difference now it's a little different programming on vehicles 20 and up we can't program through the obd we actually have to program underneath the hood by disconnecting the ecu connector we'll get into that in a little bit but let's take this thing for a ride and see what the difference is all right this is a 21 tremor and uh yeah it's a stock truck we don't have anything done to it i'll put a link in the description um where i actually put front springs on this uh to get the front end a little less give me my hook a little less rake and uh now we're back gonna be changing the tune so Let's go for a spin. I don't know, what uh, what mode do you drive in all the time? Do you drive in? Uh, usually eco. Eco, okay. Okay, so we're just driving normal. Normal acceleration. This is a 10 speed. We don't have any pedal monster on here. It would be um, definitely an upgrade to have the pedal monster as well. Not only does it work with the diesel, but working with the gasoline jobs as well, I feel for the uh, amount of pricing from banks, yeah, you can turn here. Um, from the amount of pricing from banks, uh, I think it's like 300 bucks, but it's the best 300 bucks you're going to know so am i going to notice a difference you're 100 going to notice a difference when you put this on your truck so not only changing the file and calibration of how the ecu is going to function totally separate from a pedal commander or a pedal booster or um the bank's pedal monster it's um this is the deepest way you can change how the vehicle operates with changing uh, the software calibration um, and what's also really good about this is there's so much um, uh, white noise surrounding you know the tuning industry and this is carb compliant which is huge because now we're not going to be worrying about um, uh, violating the Clean Air Act or uh, any EPA regulations that you know are enacted on vehicle production and software calibration and stuff so um, nothing to worry about all right stock truck we're gonna go back to the shop we're gonna put the x4 on and see what the biggest difference is and how well this performs I think we're gonna actually uh, notice quite a considerable difference putting this on the EcoBoost.
All right, let's pop this hood and get this up and open. Um, okay, so PCM, this is the um, transmission connector. This went down to the after treatment on the power strokes. This is the main computer connector. And then this is the body side of the PCM connector. So A, B, C, and let me get some things set up. All right, let's open this up. Let's check out what we have. No Wi-Fi. Let's get, oh, this is the device. Let's pull out everything else. This is just like the Super Duty one. I think this is the ECU connector. Yes, and a sticker. This is pretty cool. Like we don't, we don't usually program through that. That's so crazy. But you guys, check this out. Take this. Same thing. Another button here. I'm gonna take that off. This one is gonna go in the same exact location and pop it on. So now this is just like the factory one was and that leaves us this little serial port which is going to go into this box. So kind of put this together Kind of reminds me of the old uh, green screen computers every time I use a serial port. Okay, that's tight. But now we're going to need the OBD port plug because that's going to go to the actual device. A little twist eye. So that, this is always gone inside the car or inside the vehicle. But is she going on the outside today, boys? All right. Then this device would typically get power from the OBD port, but since we're not hooking it up to the vehicle. All right, so put the power on the power. And now our device is going to power up just what we wanted all right let's check it out we're going to program vehicle continue you can hear the box over here doing some clicking just heard the throttle body actuate okay three five f-150 that's us engine preloaded tune so if you guys want to get some custom carb compliant tunes uh, you can reach out to ST, SCT Flash and they actually have the ability to um, uh, build you a specific file or whatever um, that still allows uh, it to function on your on your gas job so program the vehicle options uh, fuel octane auto start stop we don't have that because of the tremor uh, speed limit off, idle, rev limit, we, we haven't uh, changed any of that, so we're just going to keep it all the same, approve. Um, actually, let me go back. Because this vehicle is a tremor, it doesn't have the auto start stop, so I don't know if this is going to be for a specific F-150, but we want to make sure our auto start stop is not, is not enabled. Oops, disable, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and approve. Auto start stop disabled, continue. Now this is gonna take our stock file, our stock file that's in the computer and it's going to take the preloaded file and it's going to go like this. And it's going to put the stock file now into this handheld. So you're always going to have the ability to go back to stock whether or not you have three tunes from the diesel or if you just have one. Um, the biggest thing is your ability to go back to stock. 
if you don't have this, then you're going to have to get your vehicle programmed by a um, dealer scan tool or a scanner that's going to allow the mothership to have the files extracted and uploaded back into the PCM. So we're going to wait until this is uh, at 100%. Right now it's saving the stock data, reading everything from here, and then it's going to push the program into the truck. So next shot, we're going to be rum running into the PCM. Almost done, 86 percenters. I'm kind of excited, I'm kind of excited. Well, we have one more step to do obviously after this because that's got to go into there, but it's a process. Hundred percent. Now we're preparing the data to transfer into the ECU, the 12 Apple 650. 12 Apple 650, that is the Ford part number for your ECU. Um, but this is what I would not want to work on. Nobody wants a 37G. Only OTB cliff, I mean, following the cliff notes. Only he likes the Jeeps. Jeepers, creepers. But, yeah. This jump. 70. 80. Closer and closer. Closer and closer. Let's see what it's gonna do. I don't know if this is the last step or this is the finalizing the tune last step. So that was the last step. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do. I hear some clicking. Throttle body just moved. Oh, now we're writing the tune to the vehicle. Ah, so there was one more step, I thought so. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Sixty-nine. It seems for all twenty and up vehicles, whether you're doing this or using FDRS, the programming process is, is unusually long compared to the previous model years. It wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't no thing to program the PCMs using IDS. So I don't know, just a different way of how. All of this works internal is different from the previous model years because we can't program down at the OBD. There's an encryption key that allows the scan tool to open up and program what you need. So being as we can't go through the OBD, we have to go right at the computer. Kind of like bench tuning using the SCT though. SCTML5. Oh, I bet. Download complete. Tune has been successfully programmed to the vehicle. We are done. All right, let me let me unhook all this stuff and let's see. We'll we'll go in order of how we hooked it up. Okay, battery, serial port. And then the PCM connector. Freaking A. All right. Disconnecting it ain't no thing. We'll put all of this stuff back in the bag. And we're going to get this thing hooked back up. Everything put away. And we're going to go for a ride. See you inside. Time to pull out. Oh. I think that's high enough. We'll see if he takes the door off. Ooh, it fired up, it started. There's the lights. Okay. First impression stick. We're gonna see WTF. 
I'm excited for him to see uh, a difference with how it operates, obviously, because he's uh, the one who's driving the vehicle every day. So, shall we, ladies? Shall we, ladies? Okay. Let's get in. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> this is the same thing we did last time. Okay. Now, we weren't taking off. Oh, let me get my hook. Give me my hook. We weren't uh, driving like uh, Smokey and the Bandit. So we're just going to take off like we were. And um, we, have no, we have no traffic coming. All right. Here we go. Okay, everything seems to be fully operational. We have no lights. All right, go ahead, turn left right up here. And then, uh, I guess, let's give it a little hammer. Give it a little hammer, do. Let the CTS get out the way. Oh, snap. What do you think? Definitely uh, a little more peppier. Wow. I feel like the power band, I know it's whatever, the power band seems a little, uh, it's like the pedal has more response to it, too. I don't, in the, I don't know, the transmission seems to, I don't know, it feels like it shifts smoother than like the factory, the, I'm gonna, the, the factory setting. I'm going to put the numbers in the description for the difference in horsepower rating, but uh, for the F-150, the EcoBoost, uh, there's a different a couple of applications of uh, tuner packages that you can get for uh, your application of Ford vehicle. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm not kidding either. When I say the trans shifting, it seems like uh, a lot smoother. Man, I hate these roads. I know. You can't hammer it there because there's a 12 inch pothole. Jiminy Cricks. Dang. Zippity doo dah now. It's not really getting on it too hard either. What if you were to come to a complete stop right after this traffic light? We've got nobody behind us. Give it a. Give it a little 100 foot fucking rip. Oh, we're spinning. Wow. Dang. Well, fast is good. Fast is good when you're not on the snow, <laughs> especially on these crappy ass roads here in Michigan. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting your vehicle tuned uh, with an SCT Flash, I invite you guys to visit their site, sctflash.com, and get whatever setup you guys want, whether it is a Dodge. GM or Ford product. Let me know in the description what you guys think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time, possibly behind another tuned vehicle.